Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to be cracking a Wi-Fi password. First we're going to use our interface to turn it into monitor mode and then using the monitor mode we're going to capture everything we can from the nearby networks and then we're going to pick the network that we want and we're going to de-authenticate all the devices from the network and then capture the handshake. Once we capture the handshake we can run a brute force attack or a wordless attack on the handshake if you don't have the Wi-Fi password in the word list, it's not going to work. The brute force attack is going to be basically try every possible combination ever, but this might take a while because as you know, the passwords for Wi-Fi are at least 8 characters long. So the alternative for this is the Fluxion. You can use Fluxion to hack Wi-Fi easier by using social engineering to lure your victim into a website that looks like a password, Wi-Fi password authentication website or something like a pop-up and then they're going to type in the password manually because they're going to think their Wi-Fi got disconnected. Uh, also, another great thing about Fluxion is that it comes pre-installed with the Handshake Verifier, which we don't have built in in Kali. It's called Cowpatty, if I'm not wrong. But if you want to know in deep how it works, how it all goes together, you can watch this tutorial because I'm going to explain how it works step by step. So first thing we have to do is we have to turn our interface into the monitor mode. So let's write Airmon ng to check what interface do we have. So now you may you might have one here and that's fine. I have two because this one doesn't support the monitor mode, which is my main adapter on my laptop. So I had to buy the other one. So this is the one that I'm going to use. So what this means is we're going to start this interface into monitor mode. And we press enter. And now AirMod is going to tell us to kill these processes so it can work easier so it doesn't get interrupted. So what we're going to do is write we're going to write kill ndp id 1314 and kill 1377 there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to first check out what networks do we have nearby so we can pick which one we want to hack okay so first let's check what our interface is called now uh, so let's just type airmon ng and as you can tell right now now it's not called wn1 it's called wn1mon so what this means is basically it's in monitor mode now so what we're going to do is we're going to write aerodump ng and the interface that you want to listen to. But before that you can actually add the dash w and the output file that you want to use. So let's just write preparation and then the interface. So what this will do is it's just going to save the output to the file because sometimes you can actually accidentally capture a handshake without even doing anything. So without the authenticating or anything and you can just get lucky sometimes. I think it happened to me once. Okay so let's start this. And as you can tell right here, we're getting a lot of stuff. Now I'm going to explain this, do not worry. This right here is a channel, I'm going to explain this later. We're just hopping the channels. Later we're going to lock onto one channel and then stay on it. If you stay channel hopping, in other words, if you don't close this, before you go to the next step, you're going to have some issues because you're going to be channel hopping. This right here we have is time elapsed and what the current time is. So right here we have the BSS ID. BSS ID is basically a MAC address of the access point. Then we have the power, which is the distance from the access point. I'm actually right next to this router, and this is my neighbor's router. So this is a constant 95 or 96, and this is 80, 80 something. And then right here we have somewhere, this one right here, this open network that I cannot connect to because, well, firstly, it's way too far away. And then right here we have the beacons. Uh, basically, the beacons in the data is how much data we're basically getting from these. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't pick this one to crack because you're getting a little bit of beacons and no data. And we have this number, so we don't need this right now. And we have the channels. Now this is what we're going to need. We have to, we're going to have to know what to write once we're writing this because we're going to have to specify the channel once we're going in the next step. DMB, the ENC, uh, right here you can see basically the WPA2, is it, a, is it an open network, WPA2 encryption and stuff like that. This is the cipher. I don't need to explain the cipher right now. And we have the authentication, which is PSK. And the, we have the ESSID, which is basically the name of the network. In this case, this is this one right here. So I'm going to pick that one, but first, before I pick it, I want to check out if we have any stations on it. Right here, we're displaying the same networks. If you take a look at this PSSID, it's a 64, and then it ends with 46. If you take a look right here, we have it here, 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 and here. That means we have four devices running on this network. This is the access point and this is the device. And this is another device and another device and another device. So let's stop this by using Ctrl and C. And then now we're going to specify the same command, the airmon ng, but we're going to add in different parameters. We're going to use dash C and we're going to use the channel the network we want to hack is on. 
it is the channel 8 and then we're going to use the BSSID and then now after the BSSID we're actually going to pick the output file we're going to call it the hack Wi-Fi dot, uh, just hack Wi-Fi you don't need to specify the file extension and then we're going to type in the interface if you got all of this correct you can press enter as you can tell right here we're locked on the channel 8 and that's good we should be locked on the channel 8 so what I want to do is I want to knock off these devices from the network and then make sure that they reconnect to the network and that way I can capture the handshake. Now what we're going to do is we're going to de-authenticate everyone off that network so we can get them to reconnect and uh, enter the password. That's how we get the handshake. Airplay ng and we're going to add the parameter uh, zero, dash zero zero and what this basically means is uh, dash dash de-authenticate is the same thing and uh, de-auth and then uh, we're going to deauth and we're going to deauth how many times? Infinite. So zero means infinite. If you type in five, it's going to deauthenticate five times. Now keep in mind that you have three devices on the network. So what it would do is it would deauthenticate three of them and then wait and then deauthenticate two of them again. So we're just going to add the zero here and do this thing and then we're going to write uh, dash A and then we're going to enter the BSSID and uh, then we're going to enter the interface. Right here, and now we're doing the authenticator everyone off the network. And now this is going to take a while. Okay, there we go. As you can tell, right here we have the WPA handshake. So that means we captured a handshake. We de authenticated everyone. We can stop right now. Actually, we could have stopped before, but we got lucky and we captured a handshake. Now, there's no way for us to verify that the handshake is right, but I'm guessing that it is. This is a home network, and I don't think that anyone will enter the wrong password, or it's mostly just devices that, that uh, reconnect after you disconnect them. So what this means is, for example, your phone gets disconnected and your phone automatically automatically connects or you just turn on your Wi-Fi and then this happens. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to exit out of this and then we're going to have to crack this handshake. So control C and then list out everything. So as you can tell right here, we have the hack Wi-Fi doll cap. This is what we captured. The preparation doll cap, we don't really need that anymore because we didn't capture anything here. Uh, we didn't get lucky. But right here we have the hack, hack Wi-Fi dot cap. So now what you're going to do is you're going to use the aircraft ng for this. But first, let me write a word list because I already know the password, and it has to be in the word list so it wouldn't last millions of years. Okay, so here we go. Now that I've written the word list right here, uh, you can see it right here. Uh, I actually wrote the custom word list because you can use the rocku.txt. You can actually write word lists. And you can actually see where the word lists are and you can copy the rocky.txt.gz and then unzip it and then you can use that it's a big word list of the most common words it's actually pretty famous uh, everyone likes rocky.txt so you can just use that basically all you would have to do is you would have to copy rocky.txt.gz to desktop and it would appear right here and what you would do is that you would actually unzip it so you would just go here and you would just go here and you would just go to desktop, open, extract, okay. And right here you have the rocky.txt. I don't want to enter it right now because it has like 100 megabytes and it would probably crash because I'm using the USB live. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to run the password cracking program. So let's do air crack, ng, w, and the word list that you're going to use. In our case, it's in the same directory, so I can just do wordlist.txt. In your case, if you want to do rocky.txt, you can just do this, this, desktop, and then the instead of word list, it's going to say rocky.txt. So uh, wordlist.txt, and then our pcap file, which is our hack wifi.cap. And let's press enter. And there you go, it already found the key. And I'm going to cover up the key right here because. Well, one of the reason is because this is my home Wi-Fi and I really don't feel like changing the password. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to clear this out. I'm actually going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use a different word list. I'm actually going to use the raw queue. So what this will do is it's going to go, it's going to go through, let's put it right here, there we go. 
So what this is going to do is going to go through rocky.txt trying every other combination to capture to the capture file. So let's start it. And as you can tell, this is how this is what it looks like. It, this is how it tries out every other combination. And it takes a while. It's actually trying like uh, 2000 uh, keys per second, I think. And I'm not sure. And it can take hours, basically. To be perfectly fair, my password is not even in this file. Okay, so now that we're on the row, let's exit this. And of course, this bugs out every time. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.